I can't be 21 again. Like, that's over. I gotta make 31 look good. You know, a lot of people look for like security and like that safety net and shit like that. But that shit don't even really exist. Kush blunts, high fashion and females. She never smoked once, but love the way the weed smells. Pistols in the front, choppers on the back porch. When I was 16, man, I could definitely say my whole life changed. And it was due to one person. In the studio right now as we speak. He Dan. Chill. Yeah, boy. If it wasn't for him, my whole life wouldn't have been the same. Wow. That taught me how important it is to give back when you're in that position of power. We took a bunch of producers from around the country and we gave them an opportunity to tailor a beat for Wiz. And today we're going to listen to the three finalists and we're gonna see which one Wiz kind of feels the most. It's cool, man, it, you know, could change someone's life. What's going on, y'all? My name is Jamal Norwood. Uh, I go by Jamal the Great, JTG. Producer, engineer in the DMV area. Me and my cousins used to rap, and basically I got better with them making beats because we needed beats to rap on, so I had to fuel them. Success to me is being able to make a living doing what you love to do. And I can have a living doing that, then I'm successful. What you think of that? That shit is hard. Yeah. What's the dude's name who made that? Uh, Jamal. Jamal? Yes. All right, Jamal. What's up, everybody? This is Lit, literal, L-Y-T-E-R-A-L. -E I am 30 years old. I'm from the Bronx to PX all day. <laughs> Save your jokes. I don't need them. All right. It's cool for artists to want to reach out to up and coming people because there's so many good people out there that can't get on. If my beat was chosen, Man, I just need that one shot. That shit sounded different as fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Collins. I'm uh, born and raised in LA. Like working at Tao right now as a busser. I bust Wiz's table like three times. It's like I'm right next to him, but it's like I'm so far. And then an opportunity like this pops up, and it's like now I'm right next to him where I want to be. Like, I have the talent. I have the skill. I just need that break, that opportunity, and someone like Wiz could give that to me. <laughs> One just came on and it's like when I get that face, it's over with. Like this, this non-deniable. Like it's a rap. Wow, Ryan. Rapper. That one right there it just sounds so different, but it bangs though. Like when you get super them, bangs, super you gotta bangs. go with it. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully I don't call the wrong guy. That'd be fucked up. What's up, Ryan? It's Wiz. Oh shit. We went through everything and I'm fucking with your shit the most. Yeah. Uh... Nigga, your shit crazy, boy. <laughs> that shit fire as fuck. Your shit crazy, though. I'm so fucking down, bro. Yeah, hell yeah. So we just gonna uh, fucking book the studio, and we'll get it in. And it's gonna be fun as hell. Thanks for bringing your A-game, champ. <laughs> hell yeah, bro. Have a really good night. All right, you too, fam. <laughs> we can play the beat at the exit out. <laughs> <laughs> you should have had a camera on him so he can go, what?
what happened? Dude, he was literally he was just like replaying my beats in the background. Like, what the fuck? Oh my god. Tell me what happened, right? I won that shit, dog. <laughs> yeah, my god. My god. <laughs> The biggest thing that happened for me, probably like what happened to this kid, was I was going to uh, ID Labs in Pittsburgh. I'm recording, I'm paying my little $60 for my hour. The owner, E. Dan, called me like one day after school. He's like, yeah, we wanna work with you. I'm like, what the fuck? I remember looking at the computer screen as he's in the booth recording and just, you know, the light bulb going off in my mind, like, wow, this kid is really special. I called him just sort of out of the blue, and I said, you could answer the phones, you could clean up, you could run some errands for us, and we'll pay you with studio time. And I was like, damn. That's like getting a record deal back then, you know? I think what he was still learning and what I was trying to like impress upon him was just like, you know, how to structure a song and how to think of a song. It was just like, yo, this is how you write a song. This is how you measure your voice. This is how you do ad lib. Since we both sort of immediately knew we were onto something and we were really enjoying the music that we were making, I was pretty quickly not concerned with like whether he was keeping up with the floor sweeping duties. It was like, this is cool. The music we're doing is gonna take care of everything. It's just, I, I don't know, like it doesn't seem real. And then it just hit me like two nights ago and I freaked out and now all of a sudden it's like the day of. I, I don't know, there's no way I couldn't be nervous. It's like I've never had an opportunity like this. Hey. Hi, mama. <laughs> I work at Tao, I'm a buster, that's how I pay my rent. When Wiz comes into Tao, you just know it, because it there's a certain aroma <laughs> that kind of just <laughs> the whole room smells up. He came in with a gang of people, beautiful women. I asked him if he wanted like sparkling or still. <laughs> I was like right there serving him next to Wiz Khalifa, but it's like this doesn't mean anything, you know? It's just a story you can tell your friends. It's like I'm around all these people that I don't want to be serving them, you know? Like, I want to be hanging out with them. I want to be working with them. And so now it's like, I'm literally going to be in a room with him and his engineer, and it's like, that's insane. From picking up the scops off his table to now, so. Yeah. What's up, dude? What's up? What's up, man? You ready? Hell yeah. Ooh, how was your day? Chilling, bro. The uh, crew came over. Yeah. Mom came over. That's what's up. Got How's mom's doing? Mom's is good. She good? That's what's yeah. up. How you good? Man? Yeah, it's been chill. How about you? It's just gonna smell like weed. I'm good. <laughs> I just worked out. Nothing too serious. Skin stone, ready to make some music. Oh. You ready to get to it? Hell yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Never gonna follow my job. I'ma always go real, real hard. Yeah. He literally said the first phrase, and I was like, all right, this is just about to happen. Real, real strong. I don't get regular dumb. Come to my crib, that's a real big home. Anytime I work with somebody, it's got to be it. Like, it's got to be dope on both ends. Rich when they cut me a paycheck. Came straight to the top from the basement. Mm -mm -mm -mm, the basement. What about, like, a tiny beat cut right there? We're right at the end right there? No, like right before the... Yeah. Never gonna ah, fail my job. That's hard. Real, real hard. Never gonna fail my dogs. Everything I do for me and my squad. One time. Mm -hmm. His engineer is a beast behind the boards. Like, Wizzle hears sound and he's just cool. Like, yeah, that's it. Oh, wow. You gotta fix the auto-tune on that. Oh, oh, wow. Switched it to A major, does that's that sound better? better? Yeah. Oh, wow. Let's try that, just okay. run it straight through. Oh, wow. This shit don't gotta be uptight or nothing like that. Like, when you got motherfuckers who are good at what they do, the shit should be easy. Hey, it should be fun too. <laughs> <laughs> you probably end up where my place is, pulled up with a bag full of faces. Uh oh, they done cleared the place for takeoff, so y'all gonna need to go harder, keep your day job. 
me and Edan chat. And so I just remember vividly just one time him telling me, hey, there's these kids that record after school and there's this one kid that's just better than everyone else. His name is Cameron. I am totally flattered that he has always mentioned to anybody that asks that like, oh, this is, you know, the guy that sort of opened the door for me early on. And I certainly don't take very much responsibility for Wiz being successful. Most of that is just a product of him being super talented, having a ton of vision and having, you know, the will to execute it. Man, like, they really took a chance on me, like, me being so young. I didn't have anything to offer. I was a 16-year-old kid. I, all I could do was rap. That's why I fuck with these producers, whoever they are. It don't matter what age you are, what point in your career you are, because you never know what somebody would do to your music. Never gonna follow my job. I'm always go real, real hard. Never gonna turn on my dogs. Everything I do for me and my squad. Shorty keep calling my phone. When they played it out the first time, it was awesome. He's musically very talented, and he's a really, really cool kid. You know, he's good. He's solid. That shit is hard. Play that shit again. That shit's cold. That shit's cold as fuck. That's the thing about chances. You don't just get one break and that's it. You gotta keep fighting and grinding and seize every opportunity you can. Shit, I'm still looking for new opportunities. Full of faces. Now she look in amazement. 